Hi, I'm Frances Proctor, otherwise known as Angel Eyes Online. And today I'm going to show you my method for creating the Flower of Life symbol. Now, as you can see, I've got the Snap to Objects enabled here. The little lock icon, magnet icon rather, rather is depressed and enabled. And we're going to start by simply selecting the Ellipse tool. And I am going to hold down the control key and just click and drag to make a circle. Just like that. Now it is important to make sure that you are using the bounds creation method because this will give us our points on the circle right where we need them. So. Now I'm going to go to the selector tool and I'm going to right click and drag to make a copy. And what you'll see happening here with the lock to objects enabled, you also get the magic snapping guides. And this is going to aid us in creating our flower of life symbol. So basically we want to snap this circle like this so that the center point of our new circle snaps to the top point on the previous circle and the bottom edge snaps to the center point of the previous circle. So I'll release the mouse button here and you can see we've got now the two circles. Now interestingly this also creates a very beginning starting symbol within the flower of life called the the Sea Episcus, which is quite interesting. So now we're going to create the third circle here. And I'm going to zoom in again so you can see we want the center point of this circle to snap right there to the intersection where the two previous circles overlap. You can see the little red dot there, I hope, where the circle point is. And right there, right in there, is where it's snapped to. This now gives us what's known as the tripod of life. And interestingly, this symbol has been used for many centuries, also as a representation in the Christian faith of the Holy Trinity. And it's been used in other religions and many other places. These symbols are actually very ancient. They date back thousands of years. So now we're going to continue on and start building on this. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag upward with this one and I am going to let it snap like this so you can see that like with the first two circles we have the bottom of this circle snapping here at this point which is the intersection of these two circles and the center of the third one. And the center of this circle also snapped right here to this intersection. And this is how we're going to continue on and building with our next to continue this shape. I'm going to pull this one down and let this snap here. and continue snapping the circles. Now you'll see this one's going to snap at different points. But you want the center of these circles to snap at the intersection. Your center always needs to snap at the intersection like this. So now we have here what's known as the seed of life or the Genesis pattern. 
Now, really quite interesting, the steps that I've just shown you and just taken to make this part, the beginning part of the flower of life, are very nearly identical to what happens when a human fertilized egg divides and begins to create an embryo. Now, remember, these symbols date back thousands of years to biblical times and possibly before. And what happens with an egg is something that the human scientists have only been able to be to see in a very powerful microscope. So this is very interesting. <laughs> so now, now that we have the egg of life, or the uh, seed of life rather, we are going to continue building on onto this. To simply create the next stage. And again, just continue like this, going all around this. And when you've got this next layer all around here, you will have something like this. This is our next symbol. This one, I believe, is called the fruit of life. And we're going to continue. Continue again. Snapping the circles. Like so. Now, at this point, you might find it very difficult to get the, the snap right, but you basically need, sometimes it takes a little patience, and sometimes I find zooming in to make sure you've got it right. But again, just build around the outside edge of this. It is important to make sure that you're snapping is behaving correctly. Sometimes you can see it takes a little bit to get it snapped in the correct position. It's always a good idea to zoom in and the more accurate you snap these, the more accurate your flower of life design will be. So again, continue around like this as I've been doing. I'll do just one more here to show you. like that and just continue around the outside and when you come back around you should have something that looks like this now we are pretty much almost there but we do need to add in one more layer now this outer layer, I'm not going to start up here at the top because we really don't need the points at the top and the bottom so much on this layer. So this time I'm going to take and I'm going to start with my circles and I'm going to snap these. very carefully like this. Now what we're doing here is we're making these outer petals that'll come along here and down along here. So you want to snap circles along this edge and along this edge and like I said you don't need to worry about the top one because we really don't need that. When you're done going around the circle again you should have something that looks like this. This is your basic flower of life design. And to finish it off, I'm going to go back to my circle, my ellipse tool. And at this point, I'm going to change here to radius creation. 
and I'm going to zoom in here just so you can see a little better what we're going to do. And we want to go to the center point of the flower of life. And you want to start and sometimes if you need to zoom in a little bit more. You need to put your cursor right in the center. And then simply click and we want to bring this this ellipse up and it needs to line up like this and I'm just going to bring up the bottom of it. We need to snap it into place like that. And zoom in, check this edge. Maybe zoom in a bit more. there. So basically this is your outer outer circle for the symbol and this needs to snap here, 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 and around like this. So what I'm going to do now is actually I'm going to send that to the back and I'm going to go control B to send that to the back. And I'm going to just throw that off to the side so I don't grab that in there by accident. We'll just make sure that everything here is selected and I'm going to apply a good view by hitting Q on the keyboard. Now this is just about there but we do need to remove some of the bits in here. So before I do that I am going to convert this now to an editable shape by going arrange, convert to editable shapes, or there is a keyboard shortcut of shift control S. Now you see that this is a group again. <clears throat> and this is where the fun begins. Now there are two different ways you can go about removing the lines up in here that you don't want. One is if you're using Designer Pro like I am, you can zoom in and I'm just going to pull this down here and simply use the eraser tool and I'm going to control click the shapes and just erase what I don't need being very careful when you get to the intersection point. Control click the next one. And this one. This one. You can actually hold the control key and just simply click each one to erase. as you go along. And that's one method for doing it. Another method for doing it if you aren't using aren't using Designer Pro X is to use the shape tool and start at here. Now you can see when I made this example I was doing it rather quickly and my wasn't very accurate with my snapping on this one. But you can still get the idea of how this works. I'm just going to snap these into place and you can see as I pull these out it's snapping into place and I'm going to go back to this one and I'm just going to pull this out that it's snapping into place. You may need to adjust the curve here on this one a little bit. I 
probably have to adjust this more because I wasn't properly accurate. And when you get to this point, you've got two choices. You can either just make this white, and uh, if you were doing it more accurately than I was, it would just block that out. Or your other possibility is, is I'm just going to pull this up. So, whoops. Undo. Your other possibility when you get to this point is simply to hold down shift and select the rest of the group and control 2 on your keyboard will remove it and it the it's left a bit of a mess here because I wasn't accurate with what I did <clears throat> so I'm just going to undo that and once you've gone about removing all the bits in here I've got a completed one over here this one I took a bit more time and did it properly and you can see you've got your flower of life symbol I hope you found this interesting and helpful thanks for watching